if you hear like really loud noises, I'm sorry, it's the wind. There's like a huge storm out right now, but I was like, the lighting is still good, so let's film a video. So there might be like sounding like my house is coming down. <laughs> Today I'm here with this spooky would you rather book tag. It was originally created by The Book Pusher, so I'll leave her link down below. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but I saw it on a couple of people's channels, and I was like, it's October. I feel like we need a spooky tag video, so it's happening. So without further ado, let us get started. The first question is thrillers or supernaturals. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know thrillers are my shit, so I'm obviously going to pick thrillers because I love them. Question two is ghosts or zombies. Um, I'm going to say zombies just because of Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion and I love that book so I have a preference towards my little zombie R. Question three is vampires or werewolves. I would say werewolves. I haven't read a lot of books with werewolves in them but the ones that I have have been decent except for Once in a Full Moon. That was a terrible book. If you want to see my rant review for that, that's up there. Hated that book. Question four is witches or demons. I actually don't think I've read a book with a witch in it, so I'm going to go with demons just because I've actually read books with demons in them. Question five is would you rather read a book with 13 chapters or read a book with a black cat on the cover? I'm going with a black cat because if you know me, I love little kitty cats. I don't care what color they are. I love them all equally. And also, like, I'm not really a superstitious person. Like... My number in basketball was 13 for a while, so like, I don't really believe in all that jazz. Question six is, would you rather read a spooky book in the dark with only a candle for light or by yourself in a locked, brightly lit room? I don't really spook myself when reading, so I don't really think that a dark room would be scary. Plus, like, I like reading with candles, so I'm gonna choose that option. And also, like, I don't really like bright lights, so. Question seven is, would you rather face your worst fear or be trapped in the mind of a killer? I would rather be trapped in the mind of a killer. I find serial killers and stuff like that fascinating, so being able to, like, be in their mind and seeing, like, how they think would be entertaining to me, so I'm picking that option. Question number eight is, would you rather watch a scary movie or read a scary book? I would take either of them. I love scary movies, and I also love scary books. I'll say scary movie just because then I can have company. You can't really read a book with somebody else. I mean, like, you can read a book with them in the same room, but, like, it's not the same as watching a movie. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay, you... You probably don't know what I mean. Question 9 is would you rather read spooky books in the fall season or anytime? I'm gonna say anytime because that's what I usually like reading so it makes sense. Question 10 is would you rather read 10 spooky books in October or 10 spooky books all year? I'm gonna say 10 spooky books in October because then I can still read spooky books other months, right? Because like I like reading spooky books. But if I only have 10 a year then I can only read 10 in that year. So we're gonna go with October and I'm gonna bend the rules. Alright guys, so that was the spooky would you rather book tag. I tag every single one of you to do this tag. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye! Yeah.